to doing productions um, <clears throat> and uh, naval battle zone. Uh, sorry, there's been a little bit of time since there hasn't been a naval battle zone video. I've been in Wisconsin and it's only been Dooley, and he only can do so much because he's back in school. I'm not yet. But, anyways, I was in Wisconsin, uh, so I am sorry about that. Um, but today I was going to bring you guys on Naval Battle Zone and I was going to show you a turret design that I came up with a little while back um, for a triple. Well, the only reason it really is a triple is so that the whole thing can rotate, you know, because triples have that higher um, detection range or whatever you want to call it so you can actually build something around them. Um, but I'll go ahead and build it and then I'll kind of describe its purpose. So first you want to start with that gold block, right, because that's that's uh, what triple needs. <clears throat> then you can just surround it with this, bring this back one, right? Well, actually, do that, right? That's kind of how big the turret's going to be. Keep in mind, this is going to be, I'm still going to make, I'm still going to turn this into a triple. So we're going to have <clears throat> iron here. Iron probably is one of the better choices. Uh, you really could use whatever you want. doesn't matter. So then you can build this back up here. Um, actually, you can add <clears throat> add another layer like so. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's not very clear. Uh, and take those out because that's where you're going to need the uh, lever and uh, uh, button to uh, to fire to control it. So then you put the top on it like this. Now, originally, what I thought w of when I was making this is that well, okay this isn't going to be very good because you need a way to hide this you know these these sides or these openings in the side look kind of cruddy right well you know I figured out that's it's kind of alright but anyways what I was doing putting the barrel in putting this here now the reason I'm using stone slabs and not something like stone brick is because stone slabs don't um, many of you are probably aware of that glitch that causes blocks to change what they are, um, they ba they basically just they basically change um, when you turn it. So like these might turn to wood or something like that, and you don't want that because that looks ugly and might even make the turret weak, you know, if it gets a eight or something like that. But then again, I'm not quite sure. So I figured out you can just stick a um, you know like a glass pane or something there or a trap door, really whatever you want. Um, now, what I do for the sides to kind of cover the sides up is you can you can do this, but it still leaves it kind of open, right? Well, you got to have this here because, oh, I'm sorry, there, that you, you can add these like that. That gives it a little bit more, um, it doesn't make it look as blocky. It makes the barrel looks like, look like it has something to connect to. Still keeps the dimensions pretty small, right? So your base is not very large. But you gotta have something out here because, as you know, triples, you know, they spawn three TNT blocks. And if you don't have anything out here, those three, those two on the outside are gonna fall, right? So, um, in fact, they might even spawn up here. So, I, if I remember correctly, you gotta bring it out like this. Now, you can do this how you choose. Uh, sometimes I've done it like that to cover this up, and sometimes I've just went ahead and added a whole nother block. But for this, we're just gonna put these there to make it look smaller. Now, of course, you go in here, you grab your lever, your button, uh, and you stick this in here. All right, and then you can say, okay, I loaded it, and then I turned it, All right? No glitches. It turned, it didn't glitch out. Again, that's the reason why I use the stone brick cool little turret design. Some of you might have seen it around, you know, on some of my ships. Uh, some of you might have had a similar idea, but now I, I just felt like it'd be cool to kind of uh, publicize it, you know. If you're looking, it, th this is especially nice if you're looking to um, give, say, like a ship 3 or destroyer or something small that you're trying to build more to scale, more power. Because you can always take a uh, you know, like, you can always take, like, a Ship 5 turret, not, sorry, a regular turret, right? 
um, a regular triple turret and just have one barrel in it, but then it's really big and bulky, right? Because you got three blocks in on the inside, right? And, but this one only has one block on the inside. It's a lot smaller. And out here, you know, these blocks, it, it just makes for a much smaller, more realistic looking turret. Now that doesn't mean that when it's on the ship, um, hang on, uh, that doesn't mean that when it's on the ship, it's still going to pick up the blocks that are, you know, like, right here-ish, if you have it right next to some superstructure, it's still going to pick that up. Um, that doesn't change. But, like I said, the big reason for <clears throat> the use of this gun is it still has your regular effect effect sorry effectiveness of a triple cannon, um, just in a smaller, more realistic-looking package. Um... That's really all for this one. Uh, I just thought I'd share that gun design with you. You're more than welcome to use it on your ships um, or planes if you're really that wild. Um, you can see I built this in an airplane plot, but that's that's just because I, you know, needed a plot to do it in. But uh, anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, and of course comment. And I will see you all later.